Welcome to Offbeat Photography Tokyo and the new format for the Music Room Sessions. Today we're joined by very special guest, Miki Acorn. Uh, maybe one more. Alright. <clears throat> Everywhere you go, you're gonna see it. The dead eating the living, the living running from it. I'm joined today now I'm by told Mickey Acorn, the army's uh, on their way. what we got here? Musician, songwriter, playwright, actor, school owner, owner, everything else in sounds between. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like an amazing life. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about from where you're from and uh, how you managed to end up in Japan. So uh, I'm from the east coast of Canada. It's uh, an island called Prince Edward Island. Famous for lobsters, potatoes, and Anne of Green Gables, known as Akage no An in Japan. Uh, I've also lived in Vancouver, uh, and about eight years ago I came to Japan. Uh, when I first came to uh, Chiba, I've always lived in Chiba, um, I was working in the Sen City Tower at an English school, and uh, a co-worker there happened to be a saxophone and keyboard player. And he was going to these jams at a place that was called the Upper Float. Uh, the Sunday night jams in the beginning were very big there, mm -hmm. um, and lots of lots of really good players. Uh, everybody was playing uh, covers. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a list of covers everybody would play, and uh, I started showing up with sheets of my own stuff, through, like uh, charts and stuff, and. I mean, Naoshi and Chizuzu are great, and uh, another another member of the jam, Steve Marcotte, played bass, and the uh, co-worker Graham was on keys and sax, uh, and we started the Sen City Center. Use a broomstick, stick it in the head, and burn. Soften gasoline anytime you can. and things you've made a couple of albums in the past uh, back in Canada and Twin Peaks here in Japan yeah so, uh, how was the experience of making the albums ah uh, in in Vancouver uh, we were originally called the Skedaddlers but we changed our name to Massey Thunder uh, we played once every two months probably but we would get about 400 bucks uh, a show oh yeah so we played and saved all of our money, and with that money, we made the album. That album um, is still probably the, the best work I, I have been a part of. Yeah. Um, Twin Peaks, uh, it, it, the, the process of making that uh, was a lot different, and there was actually kind of two bands, <coughs> two bands that <coughs> were uh, kind of the driving force uh, behind Twin Peaks. So it should have been a 12 album, uh, 12 song album, but it ended up being seven. Yeah. How would you describe your style? Oh, <laughs> my style. Uh, I hope I make good time to mm. Someone once told me there are two when genres time to good kill. and bad. And so I You'll hope I make good news. I don't know. I. I wish I was you. Oh, I wish I was you. Or you. Or you. Or you. There you were in the winter of two. You packed your bags and left all the people. Uh, I have a big Canada Day show at What the Dickens. Um, that's the first time for me to play 
yeah. you know, you know, scheduled event, yeah. uh, not a not a jam mm -hmm. at what the Dickens, and yeah. that's going to be with the Sin City Sinners. Oh, cool! And, yeah, yeah. So that's July first. The big exciting show for me is I'm going back to my hometown in August, and I'm playing at uh, one of the most respected uh, live houses. Yeah. We don't we don't say that we don't say that back home, but. Uh, one of the most respected live houses in, in recent years. I've got a super group waiting for me back home to play mm -hmm. for uh, what one set. My brother on drums, um, Peter Forbes, yeah. uh, an amazing songwriter and guitarist who's been playing around Canada for, mm -hmm. for years. Um, Todd McLean, another, um, and Tim Hamming, who's going to be playing bass. 